What's up everyone? Uh, discussing my thoughts on the Super Smash Bros. DLC Pack 2. Woo, we got new fighters, new stages, new costumes, and that's about it. Um, so the new stages, Green Greens from Melee, from the Kirby franchise, Suzaku Castle, ca uh, blah, 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 can't talk today, from Street Fighter, and the Miiverse stage, which is free. I got all three stages, and I definitely like the Miiverse stage the most. Mainly because of all the posts that are flying around in the background. I mean, I could care less if it's tournament legal or not, because... I don't know, competitive Smash is not really something that should exist. Because, one, it was not meant to be competitive. And two, there are way better competitive games out there that you can spend your time on. It, it's, an, it's a colorful Nintendo game. Why try to make it, like, something you depend on to live, Zero? Nah, I'm just playing. Zero's pretty good at what he does. Anyways, uh, and as for the costumes, I'm not too interested in the Mii costumes, but this time around they had Heihachi Mishima from Tekken. And if you have been on my channel for a while, you know that Tekken is bae. Tekken is... Uh, I want Tekken more. More Tekken stuff. More Tekken stuff. That is always good. We can always have another... We can always have a Tekken character in Smash Bros, you know. <laughs> but nope, instead we get a Street Fighter character. Yes, nice transition. Uh, the new fighters, Ryu from Street Fighter, Roy from Fire Emblem, and Lucas from Mother. Or Mother 3, to be exact. So, who's my favorite out of these three DLC characters? Ryu? Duh. He's probably the most technical fighter in Smash, and I do enjoy me some technical games. Uh... He has light and heavy attacks, depending on how long you hold the button. If you tap it, it's light. If you hold it, it's stronger. And it's really it's a really good, actually. He has a nice shield breaker as his tilt, if you hold it down. The strong tilt. He also has a strong up tilt, strong down tilt, and all of his neutral attacks. Um, also have strong and weak versions. And I mastered his Hadoukens, his uh, stronger Hadoukens, his Shoryuken, perfect Shoryuken. And the Tatsumaki Senpyoka, all that stuff. And I've pretty much mastered all of it because I'm used to that kind of gameplay style. So I was like, oh, this is no problem. So now I main Ryu. How ironic, because I am a Tekken fan, and I do not like Street Fighter in the slightest. <laughs> Lucas. I haven't played Lucas that much. He's pretty much the same as he is from Brawls, from what I can tell. He's a bit stronger, but still pretty much the same. Roy. Nerf. Roy! Nerf that dude, Sakurai! Nerf Roy to death! Good grief! One smash attack took 21%, then he killed me at 30%. I was playing as Bowser. Nerf! Roy! I mean, it would make sense if he was like as slow as Ike or something. I mean, whatever. But, good grief! He's just Marth with fire. He's a clone. Why make a clone that powerful? Good grief. I mean, look, just look at Dr. Mario. He's a clone that you did right. What about Dark Pit and Lucina? They've, do they've been done right. But no. Roy has to... Yeah, nerf him. Yeah, that's pretty much what I think of the DLC pack. Just nerf Roy. Everything's okay. Just nerf Roy.